Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson we're going to revise the rules of working with fractions. In grades 8 and 9 you covered simplification of algebraic fractions, multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting fractions. We're going to go through these again. Whenever we see a fraction in an expression, we should change all the terms to be fractions to make them easier to work with. Even whole numbers should be changed to be over the denominator of 1, and mixed fractions should be changed to improper fractions. Let us begin with restrictions of the denominator. Do you remember that we are not able to divide by 0? We cannot say 4 divided by 0. We say that the expression is undefined. If we were to write this as a fraction, we would say 4 over 0. From this, we can create a rule. We say that the denominator of a fraction is not allowed to have a value of 0. Let's look at the fraction 3x plus y over x plus 3. This denominator cannot equal 0, so we will need to give x a restriction. A restriction of x means that we will say what values x cannot equal. We will only need to do this when there is a variable in the denominator. x plus 3 cannot equal 0. To find which value x is not allowed to be, we solve the equation. This means that x cannot equal negative 3. Now that we've looked at restrictions, it's important to emphasize the order of operations, otherwise known as BODMAS. Always tackle brackets first. Simplifying what's inside the brackets, then any powers of the brackets, and lastly, multiplying out the brackets. Then do of division, multiplication, addition, and lastly, subtraction. Let's start with dividing fractions. When dividing fractions, invert the numerator and denominator that is after the divide sign and change the divide sign to its opposite multiplication. This can be remembered by thinking of KFC or keep, flip and change. Let's do an example together. 12 over x divided by 3 over 4x squared. We keep 12 over x the same, but flip 3 over 4x squared to 4x squared over 3. The divide sign is changed to multiply. Once we've changed the division of fractions to a multiplication of fractions, we can apply the rules for multiplying fractions. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators by the numerators and the denominators by the denominators. This means we multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. But we must remember that we can make the calculation easier if we cancel, factorize and simplify the fractions before multiplying. We can cancel any numerator with any denominator as long as the fractions are being multiplied by each other. In the expression 12 over x times 4x squared over 3, 3 goes into 12 and 3. We divide them both by 3 and are left with 4 over x times 4x squared over 1. x and 4x squared have a common factor of x, which leaves us with 4 over 1 times by 4x over 1. Now that we've simplified the fractions as much as possible, let's multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom. 4 times 4x is 16x. 1 times 1 is 1. Our answer is therefore 16x. Now that we've covered dividing and multiplying fractions, let's move on to adding and subtracting them. Fractions can only be added or subtracted if their denominators are exactly the same. We find the lowest common denominator by using equivalent fractions. Let's do an example together. 3x over 12 plus 2x over 4. These fractions are being added, so we need to find a lowest common denominator and rewrite the fractions in an equivalent form. 
12 is the lowest number, that both 12 and 4 can become through multiplication. To change 12 to 12, we just have to multiply by 1. The second term has a denominator of 4. To change this to 12, we multiply it by 3, which means that we need to multiply the numerator by 3 too, giving us 6x over 12. Now that the denominators are the same, we can add and our answer is 9x over 12. There, we have revised all the important rules of fractions and you are now ready to learn how to do more complex algebraic fractions. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about fractions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s.